something came up that I thought would be a good uh, subject for a video because it's a question that comes up all the time, especially uh, related to things requiring running cable through your RV. A lot of folks want to know, you know, how do you know where to run the cable through the cabinets, through the walls so that you don't see them? And I'm actually in the process of doing that right now. So I want to walk you through it. I want you to come along with me and I'll show you what I'm doing and hopefully, you know, pick up a few tips uh, through this process that'll help you if you want to do something similar. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm working on a project uh, right now that's to install a new uh, backup camera system in the front of the RV and I had hoped to uh, be able to use my existing camera and the existing cabling uh, for that system but it's just simply not compatible so I'm gonna have to just run the camera that came with the unit and it comes with some new cable that you know everything works together have tested it all in the front of the RV so the challenge for me is to be able to uh, get the cable from the cab area of the RV all the way to the back here in the uh, in the bedroom area and the, the rear camera is actually located behind this wall and I've uh, you know done some wiring there before so I know exactly where it is but in order to do that obviously I need to be able to run some cable from that point to this point I know the majority of it is going to be uh, underneath the RV along the uh, along the chassis. There's a lot of other cabling in there, so it's. I know that I'm going to just run the majority of it along those routes, and I'm not going to really cover that. That's pretty straightforward. What I do want to talk about, though, is uh, is once I can get it into the RV, how do I get it from that point to this point? So the first step of this project in any project like this, before you do any kind of wiring is to first explore around your RV and figure out where those uh, good easy paths are that you can reuse. I've been in situations many times where I've run a cable too quickly and I realized later that there was a much better way and uh, I'd already run the cable and I have to redo everything. So let me show you uh, roughly where I, I, I know I can bring the cable into the RV uh, through the floor here and then we'll go from there. I know there's a spot near my sewer bay that, uh, you know, that I can run the, the cable up in through that hole. Uh, there's some existing wiring and some tubing that comes out from that point. And uh, that uh, point enters the RV uh, through here. Now I've gone ahead and already removed a panel. Now this is kind of the cabinets in the, in the rear uh, part of the bedroom. And there's a, a closet here, some drawers. But there's already some existing wiring here and my, um, and my water lines run through here so this is where I'm going to start uh, bringing the cable in. Now from this point the uh, the wires that are already there run through this hole here you can see which heads through the wall of the cabinet and uh, that happens to go right into the compartment where my water tank is. This is my water tank compartment I can run the cable behind the water tank you can tell it spans this whole area and behind it I can get to this point over here where the water pump is and you can see there's some existing uh, wiring there and from there I can go up here through the cabinet there's a gap there to this point which is inside the closet now if we look at this a little bit closer it looks like a wall but we can see that it's actually a fake wall so if we look at the uh, outer part of the cabinet here, here's the outside wall. And there's a gap in between here and this wall. So this is a false wall that is quite common in these cabinets because they need room to run extra cables. So what we're going to have to do is remove this panel. And what I expect to see is a whole bunch of wiring back there that comes up from the bottom cabinet here and runs up into this uh, top area by the uh, by the ceiling which is where we need to go
All right, there we go. One trim. Another piece of trim. So I've removed a bunch of the small nails that were in here, but I've discovered that there are also some staples, some tiny staples in here that are not so easy to access. So this is where a small little pry bar like this will come in handy. You'll have to uh, actually pry this panel off a little bit more, but I can get under this corner and just slide it back there and just slowly pop that off. There we go. So with the panel off, what we can see here is that we actually have uh, some wiring. And uh, if you can see from this edge here, there's only maybe about an inch of uh, clearance here between that panel and the wall. So just enough to run a little bit of cable here. And uh, so there's some cable already running here. I can see that this one is actually my existing uh, cable for my, for my existing uh, rear camera. So we're on the right track here and you can see it disappears into this hole here, which then comes out along the top here, which uh, we'll remove that next. Well, mystery solved. I now know where the cables run, and I also found out where my marker light uh, power cable runs through here as well, along with the camera cable up through this cabinet and through the end cap, a little gap here, and here's the camera cable. And actually the camera is mounted just behind here. So, cause I've uh, actually replaced this camera before and I installed this from the outside <laughs> instead of the inside. So now I know how to get to it from the inside and uh, I'm good to go for this project. And I also know where everything is the next time I need to run some cables back through this whole area. It's gonna be much easier. Now I'm gonna go ahead and replace the panels when I'm done and I'm not gonna nail them or staple them. This time I'm gonna probably put in some small screws that'll allow me to uh, to easily remove them next time I need to get in there. So I hope this uh, short video helped uh, answer some questions for you. There's really no mystery. It's all about kind of getting to know the little nooks and crannies in your own RV and being able to reuse them next time. So drop your questions below and I'll see you in the next one.